So this right here is a GTEC Airram K9 Mark II. This is the updated version of the original famous Airram, also known as a Bissell Airram in the USA. But this is the fancy version for pets, hence a K9 name. Now the standard version was the silver and green version, but this is the more smart looking version in the black and green color scheme, which I do prefer in my opinion, but it also has the benefit of being designed for pets. Now the only difference is, I believe, some of the components are actually made out of metal, like the end of the brush bar to cope with long hair. So starting from the top, we have the comfy rubber grip handle, making vacuuming a lot more pleasurable. So see this button right here, you can press that and then you can collapse your handle down for storage or really short people. You've also got another handle on the front so you can carry it and it makes it a lot more versatile. So to remove the handle, by the way, you pull on this little clip that allows you to lift up the handle effortlessly and change the handle because these have a common problem where the handle basically snaps and it's just poor quality. So this is a replacement handle of mine my old one, it cracked right over here and they sent out this entire unit under guarantee. So it's really easy to fit, you just put it in there and lock the clip and there it is securely fitted. So to empty it, just lift up on this and then this is your bin flap, you just undo that clip. Not all your dirt's going to fall out. So what they've come up with is, see this black thing in there? That's the shroud scraper. So it pushes out all the dirt and ejects it into your bin. Then you slide that up again, close the bin, and then pop it back in when you're done. This is quite a nice basic design. Literally, there's no air path at all. It's just a simple brush bar, and all the dirt goes straight into the bin, which is quite clever because it will never block up. You can literally see the brush bar right in there. If I switch it on, you can see it spinning. And yes, it has got a headlight, which is also another great feature. But yeah, looking close at the bin and cyclone design, this is your filter right here, so you just pull this out, it's a nice foam filter, so it will absorb a lot of dirt before it loses suction entirely. So it's pulled that off, it's like a sock by the way, and then you just wash that. This right here is your air freshener. It smells quite nice I must say, but that's there anyways. So you just wash that filter, you do get a spare, or at least I did anyways. Let it dry, pop it back on here, back into your bin or the shroud, clicks into place and then you pop that back in. The battery right here is removable, so you just lift up on this clip and then you can just pull the battery out like so. There's your charging port on the back and these are the lights showing you how much battery runtime you've got remaining inside the battery and your power switch is on the opposite side. So as you can see with the lights, you've got all four green lights showing, which show that it's fully charged. This is a 22 volt lithium ion battery, so you don't lose power as you vacuum. Although, I don't think that's entirely true because I've had a replacement battery recently and it's still doing the same thing where the power kind of dies out after a while. I think this machine just works too hard on thicker carpets, especially. But the thing is, right, this brush bar right here. Okay, let's talk about the brush bar. It's very nice and stiff. It does a really good job at grooming, but the bristles are quite sparse. And when you switch it on, you can see the gaps literally in between the bristles, even when it's spinning. So see these gaps? There's no bristles there at all. We have got these lint pickers on either side. One of them is worn away, unfortunately. But yeah, nice rubber wheels on both sides, including the rear wheels as well. It's a 100 watt powered motor that does all the work. There's only one motor in this which powers the brush bar and the suction. Although the suction isn't exactly strong because when you lift up the bin, there's your impeller right there. And if you switch it on and feel the suction directly from there, it's very asthmatic. So yeah, not impressive, but it still does an amazing job because of the brush bar. So yeah, there's your exhaust vent where the nice smelling air comes out of due to that air freshener. By the way, the brush bar does come out, so see this button on the side, just press on that. And then your brush bar comes out for easy cleaning. Yeah, see that drive plug? That's also metal entirely, including the surroundings. So it's not going to melt any plastic with friction of any hair spinning against the plastic. So I'll pop in the brush bar in right now. 
fixed into place. That's securely in there now. So this is another famous GTEC feature. This thing on the front is the airlock design. Now what this is designed to do is when you push the vacuum forward, it opens up a gap in the front, allowing for any large debris to be sucked up. And when you pull the machine back, it creates a seal. The wall basically shuts and is designed to focus the airflow into the floor. Now it is a clever design. It makes it very user friendly and it just picks up all the bits as you go along. But I don't like this because it leaks suction when you push it forward. And I don't like that. However, it does work well regardless of that feature. But one thing I have noticed is this wall right here, see this wall when it goes in, it actually rubs against the bristles. Can you hear that? You can literally see as I turn the brush bar in the opposite direction that it is scraping against the wall. And what that does is it bends the bristles. So I feel like it's gonna wear the bristles down over time. So when I switch it on now, you can hear the difference. So unfortunately, I can feel the bristles are quite soft when I feel it in the direction that it's supposed to turn compared to the opposite direction. The bristles feel a lot more stiffer. So yeah, unfortunately, that means the brush bar bristles have worn even though they look fine. Now it's time for a demo. So I've got this mess right here on this, I wouldn't say it's a low pile carpet. It's almost medium pile, but too thick to be a low pile carpet as well. But anyways, I've got this mess on here. Let's see how the GTEC performs on this carpet. Well, for a carpet sweeper, this is actually impressive. It's done a pretty good job at lifting the pile up. As you can see, that's obviously where I vacuumed and this area onwards is the unvacuumed area because it has brushed up the carpet really well. But as for deep cleaning, you can see it's left quite a lot of dirt behind. So let's give it another go. You see the headlight showing all the dirt that's flicked out? But it doesn't actually do that well because it hasn't got enough suction. And even over here, where the carpet's clean, it's still flicking bits out. But regardless of performance, I do absolutely love how well it lifts the carpet pile up. So yeah. Now let's check the bin contents. As you can see, it's picked up the majority of it. What I hate about this is because it's an open gap. A lot of dirt can fall out, so you just got to be careful to hold it in one way. All right, but let's see how easy it is to empty so just lift open the lid it's quite messy because you have to manually open it with your hand so a lot of the dirt stuck in there now let's try the shroud scraper and as you can see that's pushed pretty much all of it out so the shroud scraper does a really good job now let's check the filter see how dirty that is because it was clean when we started off but now it's completely filthy up yeah, so obviously that's going to need a clean, but it's not entirely clogged yet because there is a lot of surface area that is still green. Okay, so not horrific, but not amazing either. Now it's time to test out the hard floor cleaning ability with the famous airlock feature. Let's see how it does. So on hard floor is actually fantastic. It's picked up every single little speck and it's done a lot better on hard floors than it has on carpets. So to summarize, if you've got carpets and you need a machine that's going to be lightweight and actually groom the carpet pile really well, I'd say it's probably good for pet hair, but as for deep down dirt, it's not the most powerful machine, cordless wise anyways, for picking up deep down dirt. 
but if you want something that's light and easy to use, it does a good job, it makes your carpet look vacuumed, this is an alright machine. I wouldn't say it's one of the worst quarters vacuums I've ever used because it's actually quite a pleasure to use. I still do like it, I mean I've had it for two years now and I haven't got rid of it yet, so that's saying something. Anyways, enough rambling on, let's clean up this mess. Let's just do a torture test and attack this pile. Handled it quite well, hasn't it? So yeah, G Tech Air Ram K9 Mark II.